Hey, it's Susie, and I'm here with a little soul care. This week, I'm really excited to talk to you about something that I have learned about the last, I don't know, decade or so, and it has to do with how you can be kind and generous to yourself. You can give grace to yourself, the kind of grace that God wants you to have for yourself that he has for you. And it's all about um, becoming a compassionate observer of your own life. Now, before you tune me out, <laughs> let's let's talk about what that may look like. Um, and I actually wrote a whole book about this um, being compassionate towards yourself. It's called The Grace Guide. It came out last spring. And it's it's about looking at your life the way that God is looking at you. And I know that if, if you're not able to have that kind of grace and love for yourself, it's unlikely that you're going to experience the, the kind of soul care that you need. So today we're going to be talking about that, how you can really be about understanding how God is looking at you and how you can look at yourself the way he sees you. And that's all about becoming a compassionate observer. Recently, I'll just start with a little story. Recently, I was looking at old home videos from when I was a mother, a young mother, um, years ago. And it was um, when Sarah, who's now in her late 20s, was a teeny tiny human of two years old. And she was rolling around and talking and so active and busy. And um, I saw myself there too. And I was like, wow, I was so young. And... You know, sometimes when I think back on my mothering, I think about the things I could have done better, um, how I could have been more patient or less fearful. But when I saw that video of myself, it almost brings me to tears because I was like, oh my gosh, I was so young um, and I was doing such a good job. I was doing the best job I could with the tools I had at the time and God graced that time in my life. That's what being a compassionate observer of your life is like being able to look on your life and see in reality who you are and what's going on another illustration this summer I mentioned this in the last episode but this summer has been really tough for me we had some things go on with a very dear friend of mine in May that were very difficult for me then in July my husband um, will tore his um, Achilles and I ruptured it and had to have surgery. And then the very first week of, of August, we lost a staff member. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, it's all right there. Um, a staff member who'd been on staff at our church for over 20 decades, I'm sorry, 20 decades, two decades, 20 years, um, passed away unexpectedly. Um, and you mix that in with COVID and not being able to see and hug my parents and um, just things that have been going on nationally that have been really difficult. It's a lot. But when you're in it and when I was in it, I wasn't thinking that it was a lot. I was thinking I should be tougher and able to manage more. And one of the things I do that I often mention is I meet with a spiritual director. And one of the great things that she's helped me do is learn how to be compassionate towards myself. And when I was telling her about all the things that had gone on this summer, she said to me, Susie, that is a lot. That's a lot. And, and then she said, um, you know, you need to make sure that you're making space for yourself and that you're not expecting too much of yourself. And, once again, I start, understood what it means to be a compassionate observer. It's me taking on my spiritual director's outlook on my life and me taking on God the Father's outlook on me as a daughter and what he thinks of me and how he feels towards me and really integrating that into my everyday um, outlook and experience so that I can be kind to myself. That is what soul care is about. It's about learning to be kind to yourself and it's about learning to understand, you know, your limitations and your, how fragile
fragile you really are in this big old world with all these things going on. So I just want to ask you to think about practicing that kind of gentle, compassionate outlook on yourself because that's what's going to enable you to love yourself and care for yourself the way that our good father loves and cares for us. It's going to enable you to look at your life the way God sees it, the way a, a kind, loving mother would see your life. And imagining maybe even what the most compassionate person that you've ever known, who you've been close to, who's loved you. And, and I can think of my own parents and my mother. What would she say in a situation like this? What would she expect of me? What would she... Um, Think was realistic what what would she what would she do and say to me and and then saying that to myself and doing that for myself and exercising that kind of care over my life so I hope this week you'll think often about how God thinks of you how he feels towards you and that you'll give yourself the grace and love and kindness that he has for you Away.